You're on deck with Ursula Camille, and this is The Triage Room. The Triage Room is a podcast that encourages and empowers listeners to overcome obstacles of pain. Pain is the physical suffering or discomfort caused by illness or injury. When we describe the type of pain we're having, we're really describing the symptoms. Once we identify the symptoms, then we can deal with the roots. Welcome to the triage room. You're now on deck with Ursula Camille, and this is the triage room. Today's topic, refined by fire. Let's take a look at Psalm 66 and 10. For thou, O God, has proved us. Thou has tried us as silver is tried. Isaiah 48 and 10. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Zechariah 13 and 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God. So here refined by fire, the fire getting out the impurities, being in that place where things are so intense, but it is God's doing. It is not to hurt us, but it is actually there to help us, to bring us to a place, going in the direction towards God, repenting from things that should not be, and turning towards God and keeping the faith where it should be in God, applying his word. The fire is getting rid of those things, the impurities that are there, that need to be removed. And so this fire, this place where it is intense, is really a place for growth. It is really a place to allow us to see in that time because it's uncomfortable. It feels like it's too intense, but it's there to bring attention to the areas that need to be changed, the areas that need to be removed, that need to be adjusted, that need deliverance, those areas that we must turn away from and turn to God and trust God through this, this time of being refined. Because it is an opportunity to pull the things away, to take the things out that should not be there, to make sure we are where we need to be, to make sure that we are in the will of God, to make sure that God's way is the way that we're taking, that we are allowing this process to do what it is purposed to do. And it's not a comfortable process, but it is a needed process to get the impurities out, to get the things that should not be there out. So being tested, being tried and tested in this fire, in this intense situation, in this intense circumstance, it may feel unfair during the time. And it's only because of lack of understanding. But when we understand that it is not about being comfortable in it, it is not about looking at it from the wrong perspective. But if we put on the right lens and see it from a way based on God's word, based on the fact that God wants the best for us all, that this refining in this fire is for our good. There's a greater purpose once we get on the other side of it. It is enduring and persevering through it and allowing God's process to take place. And here's my moment of transparency. As I was in my place of rest, This is what the Lord gave me, refined by fire. And as I began to look at the scriptures, begin to reflect on the times where things were intense, on the times where the heat was turned up, and those times asking God, what is this? Not understanding, but it's those times where that heat was turned up that revealed the things that needed to be removed, that revealed the things that were there. It also contributed to the process of growth. It also contributed to God's will being done, the process of things being done his way. So I encourage you, if you're finding yourself in an intense time right now, and you're not really understanding why is the heat turned up, you're really not understanding what this being refined by fire is all about. It may not even seem like a time of being refined. Because it's so heated, it's so intense, and it seems like it's so hard. I want to encourage you, trust God as he's doing the refining, as he's removing the impurities, as he's removing those things that should not be. And as he's allowing this to be a time 
where faith can remain where it needs to be. Maturity can come about. Growth can happen. Really trusting him wholeheartedly through it all. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Don't try to avoid the process of being refined by fire. Because being refined by fire is beneficial. Once we get on the other side of it, you can begin to see God does things his way and in his timing. Let us pray. Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus, Lord, just to say thank you. I thank you for life, health, and strength. God, I ask you, Lord, that those that are going in, in their time of being refined by fire, that, Lord, may they have understanding. May they trust you through it all. May they have insight. And, Lord, submit to this process of being refined. Even though the heat has been turned up, even though it's uncomfortable, even though it feels intense, and for some it may even feel unfair in the moment. But, God, you have a greater plan. You have a bigger purpose. And then, Lord, this is a time to remove those things that should not be. And this is a time, God, for a reshaping. This is a time, God, for growth, maturity, and to draw closer to you. And that to give you thanks, to give you praise, to give you honor and glory through it all. That, Father, you have a bigger plan in place. Lord, I thank you. I praise you. And I glorify your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You all be blessed. Thank you for joining me on deck in the triage room. To get the music you hear in this podcast or to stay connected, visit my website, UrsulaCamille.com. That's U-R-S-E-L-A-C-A-M-I-L-L-E.com. Sign up on my email list, get merch and more. Have an area of pain you want to address in the triage room? Send your email to thetriageroom at gmail.com. I'm your host, Ursula Camille, signing off. Be blessed. One touch in your life will change. Did you know that Jesus reigns? One touch in your life will change.